Hello, in this video we're going to look at a CES utility function, constant elasticity of substitution utility function. So here's our utility function and we are going to maximize this subject to a budget constraint where a consumer has $110 of income, the price of good X is $10, and the price of good Y is $1. So first thing we're going to do is get the marginal utilities. We're going to get the marginal utility of good x by taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x. Here I'm going to use the chain rule. So first thing I do, I bring down the 2 in front. So that's where the 2 is. Then it's going to be 2 minus 1, so don't have to show that anymore. And then I'm going to take the derivative of what's in parentheses with respect to x. So the derivative of x to the 1 half power will be this remaining term over here, bringing the 1 half down in front, and then 1 half minus 1 leaves us x to the minus 1 half power. Um, simplifying a few things, we've got a 2 and a 1 half here, so that will cancel, just be 1. We'll do the same thing to get the marginal utility good y, again using the calculus chain rule, bring down the 2 in front, and then 2 minus 1 leaves us with the thing in parentheses raised to the power of 1, and then taking the derivative of y, that's what's in parentheses here, um, doing that, simplifying, we get this. Setting up our maximizing condition, March utility per dollar is equal across both goods. Make my substitutions here, the marginal utility of good x divided by the price of good x. Price of good x is $10. Marginal utility of good y divided by the price of good y. Price of good y is just the coefficient in front of the y term. It's just 1. And then we're going to just simplify this thing right here. Uh, one of the first things that I see is that uh, we've got this term in parentheses over here and also over here. So that will cancel. And that leaves us this stage right here. So again, recognizing that on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation, we have this term in parentheses. Uh, that will just cancel out, leaving us with this. Uh, following the rules of exponents, I'll bring this x to the minus 1 half down into the denominator. Doing the same thing with the y term here, bring that down into the denominator. Doing some cross multiplying, uh, we have the following, and then I'm going to just square both sides to solve for y. So 10 squared is 100, x to the 1 half squared is just x, y to the 1 half squared is just y, and we have y equals 100x. The next thing we need to do is plug this into the budget constraint. So our budget constraint was 110 equals 10x plus y. So for y, I'm going to plug in 100x, and we'll get 110x equals 110. Dividing through by 110, x equals 1. I'll go ahead and plug that 1 back into uh, this equation here, where y equals 100x. So y equals 100, and that is our utility maximizing values for x and y. Let me just show you kind of one trick here, maybe simplification. We started with this utility function. Uh, it's a little bit messy. What we could have done uh, was take the square root of both sides. So taking the square root of both sides, on the left-hand side, you got the square root of u. On the right-hand side, the square root of this will just leave the following. And we could proceed to maximize this equation. And what's nice is the values of x and y that maximize u will also be the same values that maximize the square root of u. So you'll get the same values that we just saw in the, in the, the first example. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.